Hi, it's Paul from Landscape Plus. Um, we've just brought on these Le Wego lever connectors to connect your low voltage lighting. So just going to do a quick video um, of how to uh, install them and also use our adhesive lined heat shrink, which is so important when you're actually putting uh, connections into the garden. First of all, when you've got the two connections, your joint to make, you slide over the heat shrink. So obviously you don't want to make your connection and then find out that basically after you've then got to put your heat shrink over the top. That's the first step. You've then got your cable which is stripped and all you do with these lever connectors, the Wago lever connectors is actually, I generally would twist the cable to make sure there's no fraying. Um, so it just it doesn't sort of connect on the other side push the Wago lever connector on and just uh, clamp it down. Connect the same color the other side, um, which is like so. And then obviously do the second one, which is then your connection made full. Just give it a little bit, little bit of a tug to make sure there's no, no cables going to come out. So, and after that, all you do, then slide back over your heat shrink to make sure then you can push it over. And then what we will do, and then push it on, Make sure the connection's in the middle and then the cable's on the outside because actually when that heats down, that will then adhere to the actual rubber cable on each side. So um, it's as simple as that. So now it's all connected. All you need to do is now put the heat onto the heat shrink um, just using a simple heat gun. So um, we generally would hold it slightly away from the middle um, and then just a, a gentle low heat. Um, obviously the more you do, then it gets a bit, you get a little bit more confident. But what you want to do is just make sure that's starting to um, shrink down around the Wago connectors. So um, it's one of those which takes a little while, but uh, once you get into the swing of it, it's, it's uh, easy to do. So now you can see in the centre there, it's actually starting to shrink around the connectors. So um, as you can see, we've got them in the middle. Um, and what you generally would do is just literally go up, Keep going up, keep going around the heat shrink to make sure it's not um, sealing in one side. So as you can see, it's slowly, slowly shrinking down and it's starting to then now adhere to the actual rubber cable. Um, you see it little cups at the top. And then we just keep going and just a little bit extra and then you can see the adhesive coming out the top, starts to glisten, and that's the one side done. So now you can see um, both sides have actually just shrunk down onto the Wago connectors. Obviously it's adhered to the actual rubber cable so you haven't got the, the two cores letting water in. Um, and then as you can see it's, it's a nice heat shrunk joint. Mm -hmm. 